builder design pattern is very very common today. It can be used to make complex object creations easy in a highly readable Fluent API format. It is also one of the most popular design patterns. In this design pattern series, we are going to explain most popular creational structural and behavioral design patterns. Today we will explore the builder design pattern. Subscribe if you think you need to get notified on these upcoming video releases. Before we move on, we love to thank all our beloved subscribers. We are spending countless hours researching and animating contents for you so we can paint into quality you expect. To make us sustainable, we need your help. So we decided to start a new Patreon page where you can support us. It will unlock a lot of benefits including your name and photo on our video. So let's continue with the video. We will start with Wikipedia and see what's the definition over there. So let's search for builder design pattern and let's see where it goes. So this pattern says it is a pattern designed to provide flexible solutions to various object creation problems in object oriented programming. So let's break it down. Imagine you are building a new burger shop and your intention is to provide customizable burgers to your customers. So you will ask your customers do you need cheese or what about lettuce? Well, somebody might be interested in different type of patties and what about yeah tomatoes pepperonis too many options isn't it in more programming style your customers are giving orders to a burger builder which is your shop in this context and that builder produces the product which is obviously burger in our example now here if you look we have the burger over here and a lot of options cheese lettuce patty tomatoes pepperoni a lot of options and a constructor where we can pass whether these need to be included in the burger and they are getting assigned to these respected properties. This is our burger class. Now let's create a burger. Now if you see we have a lot of constructor parameters need to be set up in order to initialize a new burger. So this means our code will look like this. So we have set up all these constructors cheese, lettuce, patty, tomatoes, pepperoni with true, false, true, false, true, whether we need it or not on the burger. Now, do you think this initialization is readable? Do you think it is pretty? To most of us, it may not be too pretty. So instead of initializing using its constructor, we can rely on a builder to build it. Specifically, a burger builder to build a burger. A builder uses Fluent APIs as shown now to edit the burger. Fluent APIs are extremely readable to a user. We will see how we can create a burger builder with these cool fluent functions. Now let's take a look at our burger builder. So this is our burger builder class and here we have a private initialization of our burger and this burger is private only within this class and whenever somebody initializes our burger builder you can see a constructor for the burger builder here. So if somebody uses a burger builder we are initializing a new burger with all options false. We are turning everything to false or we can set it to some default values. So here I am saying that by default if somebody orders a burger, he don't need cheese, he don't need lettuce, he don't need tomatoes, pepperonis, he don't need nothing, he don't need a patty. Now that is my default so I am setting a burger with default values. Now I am providing fluent functions like this, add cheese, add lettuce, add tomatoes, add pepperonis, those functions. And what those functions are doing is they are taking this private variable burger that is already initialized when somebody builds this burger builder somebody initialized this burger builder and then modifying that part so if somebody calls add cheese i'm taking that hatch cheese property from that burger and turning it on whenever we have built it it was turned it off now or we can say default values now when i call add lettuce again i'm turning it on when I'm calling tomatoes, again I'm turning it on the tomatoes and pepperoni, again turning it on pepperoni and also I have a build function. This is a special function and what this is doing is it is returning back the burger that is already done with it. Now to recap, we have created a burger like this with default values and based on calling different functions, we have altering those specific values. If somebody calls add cheese, I'm turning the cheese on. If somebody calls add lettuce, I'm turning the lettuce on. Likewise. Now let's see, using this burger builder, how can we create the same burger in more readable way? Now if you take a look at this, the resultant value is a burger. 
and what we are doing is we are taking the burger builder telling it to add cheese add pepperoni add lettuce add tomatoes and finally build it and the build function returns that internal private variable now let's say if some user didn't want lettuce what he can do is we can just remove this now this is highly readable as you can see so this is how a builder pattern works source code can be downloaded from patreon the link is in the description below thank you so much for watching